Hi everybody, it's me again, the LEGO Master, and today I'm going to be giving you a set review of the LEGO Minecraft Abandoned Mine from 2021, so let's dive into it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and sharing. Okay, so breaking it down, we have four characters. We have Steve, and um, this Steve has a uh, iron pickaxe, and... He has no armor, so it's just the regular basic Steve, default character. Then we have the zombie, and he, well, uh, do you see resemblance from uh, to him and Steve? Yes, they're wearing the exact same clothes, it's just the zombie has green skin. Um, so this is what the zombie looks like, he's carrying a stone shovel in this set, um, and sometimes zombies do carry weapons, sometimes they're just wandering around empty handed. Next we have a spider, and these guys are kind of rare in LEGO, whereas they're kind of common in Minecraft. And, uh, he's basically, uh, got these pieces as his legs, so they can, um, go together. His legs can move up and down, like this. And then we have these slime, which is basically, um... A modified version of the Minecraft, the classic Minecraft head, uh, that's transparent and has uh, the slime facial markings on it. Okay, so now we can get into the parts of the uh, the parts of the set that is easily detachable. We have a crafting table. This is the first uh, real crafting table I ever got. It's got the markings on the side. It's got the a 3 by 3 grid on it, and so that's the crafting table. Then we have two torches. Torches are easy to make. Um, there's no difference between the ones I make and the ones that uh, I got from the set because they're, well, identical. And then we have this diamond ore here, and that's pretty nice that this set has a lot of diamond. It's an easy way to get uh, a lot of ore and hostile mobs because uh, it's only twenty dollars right now. Um, so this is diamond ore, which is pretty rare. This is iron ore, which is slightly less rare, and coal ore, which is very common. Um, all three of these uh, have uh, like the one by one stud pieces in there. Uh, diamond has the light blue, iron has the tan. And coal has the brown, uh, the black. Okay, so moving on, we get to the actual set itself. And this set is portraying a cave on one side uh, with a lava waterfall, which is really cool, and a lava pool here. It's got a cobweb here, and you can see that there's a lot of places to put the ore and the torches and things like that. And then there's the lava pool, and across the lava pool there's an abandoned mine shaft, and that's what this set's all about. It's got a water pool here, uh, it's got a higher platform here with some gravel. And I'll show you that function in a minute. Turning it around, you can see that it looks like this. And there's a couple more places to put stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the gravel function. So when Steve's mining, um, he can mine this gravel here, and, uh, so the gravel falls, and it's really cool how it does that. So back here, there's this grass block here, and you pull it back, and it falls. Uh, so the way it works is that there's this peg here, when, when these are on, uh, they're on this thing. Then when you pull this back, it slowly goes in, and that releases these, and they just automatically fall. So that's really uh, a very cool function. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play with. And now you've seen the whole set. You've seen the minifigures, and you've seen the uh, other accessories, and you've seen the set itself. So now I'm going to put it all together so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the set looks like in its normal configuration. You have the iron ore here, you've got the two torches, you've got all the 
hostile mobs in the cave in the mine. You've got the diamond door back here, the coal ore over here, and you got Steve mining up here with the crafting table. Now, of course, that's only one configuration of how you could put all this together. Uh, there are a lot of different ways you can put this together, and the set's really nice and customizable, so you can do that. Let me show you another configuration that I made up. Alright, so this configuration is slightly different. You can see I put the iron hanging down from the wall here because uh, at being a normal Minecraft block, it's got this piece here, so it's easy to put on and take off. Uh, from hanging from places, you've got the spider skeleton across the wall, you've got the slime down here, you've got the zombie here, you've got the torch on the ground here, you've got the torch uh, in the original spot, you've got the diamond hanging down here, and the coal here. The crafting tables over here. So, uh, that's just one example of the pretty much limitless configurations you can do with this set. It's a lot. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play with, and it's very customizable. I hope you like this set review. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.